travelers. I am off to Italy and today is gonna be a long stretch. It's gonna be like almost like a two day flight. I will be flying from Honolulu to San Francisco, San Francisco to Istanbul, and then Istanbul to Bologna. So it is 5.30 in the morning and I can't believe I'm up this early to take a flight. It still feels a little eerie just being out here this early. I think I'm in Terminal 3 and I need to get in Terminal 1. I have roughly around four hours to get there, so it's not like a rush. Oh wow, everything smells so good. No wonder I smell nothing but food. That little uh, stand that I went to, they charge a 2% employee benefits surcharge, which I'm assuming is kind of like paying for their medical or their something that the employer really ought to be paying themselves. And it's just kind of like a way of employers shifting the responsibility of paying a decent salary uh, over to paying customers. There's all types of stuff, it's like berries, quinoa, feta cheese, different types of quinoa. I feel like there's some kind of cranberry in here. Okay, we are boarding right now. This is going to be a good 14 hour flight. There's that side, and then there's this side. This must be a huge plane. Hello. Hi. 14, 15, oh, oh, I'm way over there. So unfortunately, I'm too close to other people to do anything like talking to the camera. I, I can't do that too much. So as of now, I'm going to turn off the volume and we'll see how far I can get with my mate. that long before it's just that I've not been window seat in a three-seater oh my god that was, oh, that was a challenge okay so we're in Istanbul so right now I'm gonna look for the Turkish Airlines desk because I heard that they give you free hotel layovers that's if you qualify fingers crossed uh, Take a seat over there? Okay. Yay for qualifying because that was a horrifically long flight. My my legs are cramped and I could definitely use some sleep right now. I'm staying at 121. They even give me my wake up time and my shuttle time. That was a lot more organized than I thought. Okay, this works. It's two beds and very yellow lighting. These days, the first thing that I always notice when I enter a room is the lighting. <laughs> What's my view? I think it's like the backyard or garden. You get the complimentary water and drink. This is a pretty good hotel. Free dinner, 
what more could I ask for, right? Perfect for my needs. I am so tired from that 13 hour flight that I don't think I'm gonna make it into town tonight um, to see Istanbul. That flight, I didn't get really any rest just because I was so like shifting around next to the window, locked in by two people. I think I just need to sleep. Sleep until tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go get dinner right now. Let's see, okay, let, ooh, what are these? This looks like pudding or yogurts. Deadly. Okay, got the salad side. That's good. Oh, very meaty. Looks like potatoes au gratin. Steamed veggies. It's like rice. Ooh, I think I'll definitely have that. So, let's make my plate. Got some soup here. Got potatoes au gratin, it seems, some kind of rice pila, veggie salad, and some kind of milk Turkish dessert, which just looks curious. It looks kind of like yogurt, but we'll see. Their airplane food is very, even though it was very basic and um, it seemed minimal, it was very hearty and it felt very um, filling and satisfying. Okay, this is a tomato based soup. I'm wondering if there's like any kind of meat broth in it. Very hearty soup. It reminds me of a Campbell's uh, alphabet soup. If I only ate this, I'd be satisfied. It's really good. I feel like the veggie salad is kind of self-explanatory, although this one has got a little bit of spice on it. Mm. For the most part, it's just kind of like a seasoning. Not even spicy at all. Oh, look at that. You know it's gotta be fatty and tasty. Kind of like a chowder. That's why it's starting to taste a little bit more like a little a mild seafood base. <laughs> now this actually looks like a chowder base kind of pudding. There's definitely surprises in here. Let's check it out. This is like a sweet milky pudding. I can only tell that I'm biting on different things. Like one is a bean, one is some kind of like I want to say vegetable. One of it's pistachio. At first I was a little suspicious of this but it's good. So all in all, even though dinner wasn't like still great value when it's a free hotel stay, the only thing is I think this is a little further from the, the city center. Oh, okay, so I think I need to just take a shower and time to hit the hay. The bed is calling me, it's calling my name. Calling my name, Christine, Christine. Okay. Wow. First one in. Maybe around, took me about 20 minutes to half an hour. Holy crap. Just coming up here, all those lights you saw, like coming up here, that was just the parking lot in the front. Like, I can't even imagine how many cars must like hang out here. That is what the lights were, like all parking lot. This looks very like futuristic, this whole design. You've got the Turkish side and you've got the English side. look down you just see like light patterns well that was interesting so I checked in and they were asking me where my baby is <laughs> I couldn't provide one I obviously don't have one somewhere along the line I think like a family <laughs> is gonna get the raw end of the stick Standing in front of this schedule, like a New York train station, waiting for them to update the time. And when I say we, I mean just like everyone that's waiting along with me. And meanwhile, I'm pretty hungry. 
You can see I kind of started on my sandwich right there. It's kind of like a, called a izine sandwich. And it's because it's got like, I guess, izine cheese, which I've never experienced before. That kind of black purplish thing is like an olive paste. Salty sandwich, salty cheese. Salty olive paste. Mm, perfect. Mm, there we go. Bologna. Gate F4B. Okay, we're on the move. This reminds me of Las Vegas's Caesar Palace, the shopping mall area. There's just a lot of stores and cafes here. There's another cafe down there. And duty free shops. They just give you every opportunity to part with your money before leaving Turkey. There's something really interesting about the Burger Kings in Istanbul. When you look at the menu, you notice the predominant color is not red like the signature Burger King colors are. The main color here is brown. So everything's got a darker tinge to it. And I think that's just like marketing to the people who they're trying to attract. So you kind of got like this earthy feel to it. And I did not see any vegetarian burgers on there. It it was all like meat bound burgers, which you know the culture here is predominantly meat focused. Ooh, and here we go, final flight off to Bologna. substitute meat. It tastes more like a bean or a soy kind of product. Smoky flavor with some seeds inside as well as the outside. It's almost like a falafel but it's got more of a smoky kind of meaty moist flavor. And it's kind of like a cheese. I want to say that this reminds me of this Isine cheese sandwich that I had earlier. Moving on to the samosa looking pastry. So it's kind of like a spinach. Okay. Mm. I love the spinach in this, it's like really deeply cooked. I have to try the chili now. It's not very hot at all. I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to eat the whole thing. The meals on Turkish Airlines, they're actually pretty good. Even though this is like a vegetarian meal, entrees are really, really flavorful. It doesn't really look appetizing. Once you eat it, it's like wow. And that's how mouth banging it was. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. I will see you in Istanbul. Maybe in one of these free layover hotels with Turkish Airlines. May the girl be with you. I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Check back for more girl travel videos where I take you inside my solo travel adventures. As always, links in the description box below. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun, and may the girl be with you.